show me the money. If you're looking to get into software development, one of the big reasons is probably because of the money that you can make. Well, the question is how much money should you really expect to make as a junior developer. In this video, I wanna share with you three tips to help you evaluate compensation offers, as well as help keep your own expectations in check. Don't forget, if you have a question that you'd like to ask or a topic that you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, leave a comment below or head over to devmentordave.com and fill out the Ask Dave form. Hey, Junior Devs, Dev Mentor Dave here, helping you bridge the gap from learning to code to launching a successful career. If you're doing research online to find out how much money you can make in software development, you're gonna get a very broad range. And a lot of that is due to marketing by boot camps and career schools. So I wanna give you three tips to just help you really evaluate if the information you're reading makes sense and is applicable to you and to help you kind of know what to expect when you start dealing with a negotiation. Tip number one, be specific about the role and the expectations. There's lots of different types of roles in the software development industry. And depending on which role you take or which role you're trying to get hired on as, they all have different levels of compensation. So a DevOps engineer will get a certain amount of money, whereas a web developer would get a different amount of money and a designer would get a different amount of money and so on and so forth. And there's lots of different options out there, lots of different avenues to go down in the development world. So as you're doing research on something like glassdoor.com or some other website that's going to give you an idea of what salary range you should be in, you want to make sure that you're looking for exactly the right role and expectations. So if you're coming in as a junior developer, you want to make sure that it's very clear the types of roles that you're looking for are for a junior developer. If you've been doing development for a while, you'll probably be looking for a mid-level developer role. Or if if you've been doing it for a long time like me, I'm not sure why you're watching this video, but you'd be looking for obviously a senior level developer role. So be specific about the role and the expectations that you're looking for. Tip number two, validate the compensation based on your location. Now this may sound obvious, but depending on where you are, you're gonna be compensated differently for the same job. For example, if you're in the Midwest like me, I'm in Kansas City, you're probably not gonna make as much as somebody on the East Coast or on the West Coast. In fact, based on my own research, a junior developer in the Midwest will make approximately $60,000 a year. Whereas if they were on the East Coast in New York, they'd make approximately 70,000. And on the West Coast in San Francisco, they would make approximately $80,000 per year. See, it's a whole lot cheaper to live here in Kansas City than it is in New York or San Francisco. So the compensation has to be different in order for people to be able to make a living that actually lets them live. Another part of the location issue is whether or not they're gonna require you to relocate. For example, if you're in the East Coast and you have to go to the West Coast, that's a huge expense to move all the way across the country, especially if you've got a family and you've got a house and all these other things that you need to consider. So you need to validate whether that compensation difference is worth all the extra hassle plus the extra expense potentially of moving to that new location. So be specific about your role and expectation and validate the compensation based on the location of the job. Hey, if you find this information helpful, could you hit the like button for me? It helps me get this information to more people and hopefully help them on their journey to a successful career as well. My third tip for evaluating a compensation package is know your goals. What is it you're trying to get out of this job? What is it that you are looking for, especially as a junior developer? Are you just looking to have a job? Well, then you're probably going to be okay with most compensation packages as long as it meets whatever needs that you have. But maybe you have other goals like making sure that you have mentoring in place at your job. And, and if they don't have quite as much mentoring, but they have really high compensation, is it worth it to you to not get the mentoring to have the higher compensation? Are there opportunities for career advancement? Do you know what that looks like? How quickly they expect you to progress to a mid-level and to a senior level developer and what kind of pay increases come with that? And then what kind of stability are you looking for in this job? Is it working for a small business? Is it working for a startup? More than likely, there's a good chance that that startup or that small business is going to go under at some point. That's just the nature of the beast, unfortunately. So you need to know your goals and you need to make sure that the compensation package that you're looking at 
actually fits with a company that's going to meet the goals that you're looking to achieve in your career. So what kind of money can you realistically make? Well, 50 to $80,000, depending on where you are, depending on what you're willing to settle for, depending on what you are looking for from, from a benefits package, all these things go into it. So it's not just about that initial dollar amount. But at the end of the day, even if you do start on that lower end, this is a great career path and it has a lot of earning potential, a lot of opportunities to grow quickly and a lot of opportunities to learn a lot and be successful. Thanks for joining me and if you'd like to get more mentoring advice, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified each time I upload a new video. So even though you may not be able to walk into a negotiation and say, show me the money, you're still going to have an opportunity to make very good money no matter where you are in the country thanks to remote work as well. So once again, those three tips are be specific about your role and your expectations. Validate the compensation based on your location and know your goals. Hopefully this is helpful to you on your journey as a junior developer. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I'll see you on the next video.